everyone, how's it going? In today's video, we're doing a part three of my money making series, where I take a resource, farm it for an hour, and show how much you can make on the trade post afterwards. For this week's resource, we're doing Sandblock. I got a really good route for this. But real quick, if you drop a like and subscribe if you're new, it helps me out a lot. But anyways, let's get started. So to start the route, since it prints on sands, then you're going to fast travel to Great China Thoth. Once here, you head over to the location right here on my ping. Here's where you'll find the first node. We're going to be starting a timer for an hour and see how much sand block we can gather within that hour. The whole route itself takes about 12 to 15 minutes to complete, just depending on how quick you are. For this, I'll be using a bow and some light armor. And you will find portions of the map that have corruption portals that are blocking the sand block spawn. You can go ahead and skip those ones. I also included a map too as well that you'll see on the top right right here. So you can follow along with the map or you can follow along with my character. We'll do one full run through and then I'll show you how much you get off that first run and then I'll show how much you get off that first hour of doing this and then we'll see how much money we can make on the trade post afterwards. So feel free to skip ahead if you like. I'll include chapters or follow along with the video. But like I said, I'll just let it play through and then we'll see how much money we can make at the end.
So we managed to complete our first run in about 14 minutes. And we gathered about 115 sandstone block. Pretty good considering we're not using any proficiency boosters, no yield boost. Just whatever yield we have on our pickaxe. And the reason why I do this is because not everybody has the music buff. And not everybody has proficiency boosters. So I just try to keep the video as simple as possible. But we'll head back to the first no location. And we'll complete out the hour. You are going to have to wait about a 4 to 5 minute respawn on the first node. But once that one respawns, the rest will follow. And you'll be able to do the route again. But I'll cut the video so you're not watching a full hour of me mine. And we'll see how much we can gather within the hour. And how much money we can make on the trade post. So the 1 hour mark is up. And we managed to get about 323 sandstone block. Probably could have got closer to 400 to 500 if we had the proficiency boosters and the music buff. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, the music buff is called Fortune's Favor. You get it at level 100 in music. And what it does is it gives a 10% yield boost when you play a song. And this can stack with the proficiency boosters. So really good when you're farming for long sessions. But now we'll take the sand block back to the trade post and see how much money we made within that hour. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sandstone block. On my server it goes for about 9.35. And to calculate your profit, you just take what it's selling for, so the 9.35, and then you times it by what we farmed, which is 323. And that'll give us a profit of about, let's see, 3,020. So not bad if you were to sell the sandstone block, but you can make even more money if you take the sandstone block and turn it into charged sand. For this, it will only require obsidian sandpaper. And on my server, it goes for about 43.98. We don't count the first one because there's only eight of them. But you're also going to want a full set of stone cutting gear if you want to convert this. Just for that 23% chance to craft additional items when you have a full set of stone cutting. I already went and converted mine and out of that 323 sandstone block, I got about 124 charred sand out of it. And just to show you guys the difference on how much profit you could be making, I'll show you guys. So we'll take the 43.98 and we'll times it by the 124 charred sand that we got. And let's see, that'll give us a profit of, that gives us a profit of 5,453. So not bad for an hour's worth of farming. And charred sand is used in a lot of resources too as well. Like for all the rune glass casings, it requires charred sand. And I think it goes for each and every one of them. I also did a video on sulfur and water glyph stones too as well. If you're interested, I'll have the videos pop up at the end. You can check those ones out as well. But yeah, not bad for one hour of farming. So I highly recommend you guys going out there and trying this for yourselves. Check your servers. Maybe you'll make even more money than me. But very quick, very easy route you guys can do. And that about does it for today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Leave a like on your way out and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.